Spooky dinosaurs. Is it alright if I have some, Kat? Yeah, if you give me a bit of your pizza. That's that's not a fair swap. Well, well do I have any more to take the dinosaurs out? Yeah, but I'm the guest. Guest? So You're here more than I am, mate, and it's my fucking oven. Whoa, right. whoa, what are you doing? You're letting the heat out, you lummock. No, I'm going to take your pizza off and put it on the bottom shelf. What are you doing, you big old? Mine takes longer to cook, Karen. That no. is just the way of the law. Yeah, but my pizza, yeah, has to be top shelf, otherwise it won't cook evenly. Well, OK, here we go. Here's something for you. Why don't you give me some of your crust? And then I'll let you have top shelf. No. Here we go. This is my, going to be my best offer. Right. Because both of us want top shelf. I suggest what we do is cut the pizza in half. We can't do that, no, sorry. Why? Because I eat my pizza from the inside out, right? If you cut it in half, yeah, there's no inside to eat it out from. I don't use the basic size system, Ken, which is why I get so fussy at Pizza Hut. Why are you crying? I'm not crying, I'm just so hungry. I'm really sorry, Curtin, but at the end of the day, it is my oven, so I am going to have top shelf. Don't cut my pizza in half, please. I won't. Shut <laughs> up. It's just a pizza curtain. Curtain gets very emotional, but that's just what we're like in this family. One of my first memories of Nugget is we all go around Nan's for Christmas Day, and she was about to get the spread on, and he was like, Uncle Nugget was like, no, I want to watch Chicken Run because I've been waiting for this to come out for a year because he loves Ardman animations. And she was like, no, we're all going to sit round the table, and we're going to eat the Christmas lunch. So he absolutely kicked off. He, he said, well, why can't I just watch it sat on my lap and eat my food, eat my food on my lap? And she was like, no, she's having none of it. So he stormed in, he punched Sol in the turkey. He got, I started to snigger at this point, so he just got, he literally got a ladle of bread sauce and like threw it across the, across at me. It became a bit of a, of a joke in the family because the next year we bought him Chicken Run on DVD and we thought he was all gonna laugh. We, he was gonna absolutely love it and laugh, but he really did not find it funny at all. So I told him about why he's called Nugget. He can, but it's a bit boring. No, oh right, Uncle Nugget, yeah, he's called Nugget because he went in this nightclub and the DJ wouldn't play this song he requested, so he got a knife, yeah, cut off half a DJ's scratching thumb, flew it on, threw it on the floor, and some bloke came along who just fucked out his brains, picked up and ate it because he thought it was a chicken nugget. He's called Nugget because his second name's Nuggins. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. I think that's still part of... Curtin went for a very bad lying face. Yeah, I did, yeah. That's the thing, I lied so much, I still don't know what's real life and what's just plain lies. Mm. I'm so glad you're out that lying face. God, care. I watched the most fucked up thing last night. What? It was this real life documentary, yeah, about this NASA experiment, yeah, yeah, where he sent this monkey into space in its own spacecraft. But when it hit a certain altitude, the monkey's head just exploded like a grape. So they sent this other monkey into space yeah. in its own spacecraft, and they sorted the altitude problem out. But because the scientists were so obsessed with doing that, they totally forgot to teach the monkey how to navigate its craft. So it just got lost in space for all time. Which I think is far worse, to be fair. Me and Kerry's mum do not see eye to eye. We've had some proper stand-up blazing rows. Actually, just me stand up, she's always in bed. See, I live with my nan, and we like things in a certain way. We like to know where everything is. But Kerry and her mum, they're just like two pigs rolling around in their own muck. Mum said you've got to leave. What? Why? Because you called her an old bat. She is an old bat. Gotta leave now. Yeah, I heard her. Bye, Shane. Why ain't that little rat coming here eating all your food? Purple death in the fog. How do you know the ass was? I'm still here. I know. If you.
you want to have a laugh but also be physically sick, just watch Kerry's mum put her sandals on. It's disgusting. They're like two, her feet are like two blocks of spam, yeah? And watching her try and squeeze them into her broken stocks is just... <sighs> Get your mum to say tomato. Oh, no, no, oh, no. Oh, please. Oh. Please. Mum! What? What's in the BLT? In the what? A BLT? I can't stop thinking about that monkey. Yeah, same.